a grumpy senior stormed into my freshman year internship. There was an instant magnetism between us, even back then. A part of me just knew you were going to be in my life forever. That same part of me did not know your hair wasn't going to be in my life forever, though. <laughs> Ever since day one, when you adopted me as your freshman, you have taught me so much about life and love, and so many little anecdotal tidbits of information. I love that I can find answers to almost anything from you, and whatever you don't have at the tip of your tongue, well, you got Alexa for that. Not one, not two, but three. <laughs> I would not be the woman that I am today if you weren't by my side. And I cannot wait to spend the rest of our lives continuing to grow together, both as individuals and as a team. I love that I can always rely on you to take the backup vocals to our emo kid anthems on our long car rides, and as I belt out the main chorus. I love that I can come home to you exclaiming that you bleached the ceilings while I was away. <laughs> and I love that you support me through all of my life and artistic endeavors. I love your compassion for our silly little fur children. There's no one else in this entire world I would go through half of the things we've been through other than you. I promise to always be by your side, muffling your laughter through movies because no one can hear anything through your hysterics, and there to nag you with what's wrong when life gets tough. I choose you as my husband, my partner, my best friend, my everything. I choose you as the only one that I will love so fiercely for the rest of my life. I am so thankful that I did not let that tough exterior of yours repel me from finding a home in your arms. You are the smell before rain, and you are the blood in my veins, and I am so happy that I get to marry you again. These last few years have been a lot of work. I've experienced a lot of bad times and, and quite a few good times, and no matter what, I've always been able to count on you. The last part talks about looking to the future and the only thing that I can say about the future is that the future soda is problem. The only thing I can say for sure is that I look forward to dealing with all of life's inconveniences one day at a time with you right there to suffer with me. Still do. <laughs> I now pronounce you still very. and I will always love you forever and ever and ever and I will always remember things for you when you don't I love you <laughs> it's okay you got me <laughs> I love you